Meet Joel Salatin. He raises chickens and cows at Polyface Farms near Swope, Virginia. But if you ask him what he does, he'll tell you he's a grass farmer. How does grass farming work? First, grass is a solar collector. It uses photosynthesis to convert the sun's rays into cellulose. When cows eat grass, they're converting this energy into protein and fat. Second, moving the cows each day continuously exposes them to new grass while leaving manure behind to fertilize the soil. Chickens often follow behind these cows, spreading the manure and hastening the growth of new grass. Grazing cows that are moved frequently leave the grass's roots behind, which sequesters carbon in the soil. That's a good thing, because carbon in our atmosphere is a major contributor to climate change. It once took four to five years to raise beef cattle. Now we have industrial feedlots or CAFOs, and they can do it in 14 to 16 months. Do you know how? By feeding cows a mix of antibiotics, hormones, protein supplements, and corn. So what's the main difference between grass-fed and corn-fed beef? Well, grass-fed cattle are ruminants that convert grass into protein. This beef is lower in saturated fats and higher in omega-3s and vitamin E. And corn? A cow's rumen isn't designed to digest corn. A corn diet often leads a cow to suffer from acidosis, bloat, ulcers, diarrhea, and even a weakened immune system. That's why many consumers are now looking at grass-fed beef. It keeps animals on the land, requires less antibiotics, and may even be better for the environment. Grass-fed. It all starts with a blade of grass. To learn more about terms like grass farmer, carbon sequestration, and grass-fed, visit lexiconofsustainability.com. And remember, your words can change the world. <laughs>